CBSE and CRT solutions chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.2 question number 3 the problem is in the following APs find the missing terms so we have five parts in this problem and we need to find the missing terms and every sequence given here is given an arithmetic is an arithmetic progression so we will go through them one by one the very first one is 2 and we have a missing term here and then we have 26 now in order to find the missing term we can use different ways for example here the first term is given equal to 2 here and 26 is the third term here that's first number 2 is missing and it's third one 26 then we can also apply formula here which we use to find the nth term of any arithmetic progression it's equal to a plus n minus 1 times d where a is the first term and d is the common difference and n is the number of term which we want to find for example here 26 term is at number 3 location so n is equal to 3 here and here we have we can write a3 equal to a plus 3 minus 1 times d now we can put the values here a3 is equal to 26 we know that it's given 26 is equal to a2 plus 2 d here and we get here the the common difference is unknown to us so I can take 2, two to the left hand side now and it would be equal to 24 equal to 2 D so D is equal to here 12 because we get it by 24 divided by 2 equal to 12 now common difference is equal to 12 now from, if we have common difference we can directly find the second term we know that second term is equal to first term plus common difference first term is 2 and common difference that we just found is 12 so second term is equal to 14 so which is the missing term so we will put 14 here so this is the answer for part number 2 now we will use some different approach in part number 2 the part number 2 is we have a missing term here 13 and then again missing term and there is 3 here let's suppose that the missing terms are x and y we know that in any arithmetic progression the difference between every two consecutive terms is same so we will use that approach now okay let's suppose that we have one equation will be like that 13 minus x would be equal to y minus 13 because it's the difference between first two consecutive terms is this one and the difference between next two consecutive terms 13 and y is y minus 13 so that will be equation number one and we can also write something like y minus 13 equal to 3 minus y because y minus 13 is also difference between two consecutive terms and y 3 y 3 minus y is also difference between these two consecutive terms so from here from this equation we can find the value of y I can take y to the left hand side so I'll get 2y and I can take this 13 to the other side so I get here 2y equal to 16 so I got y equal to 8 so y is 8 here so means that we have found one missing term so if y is equal to 8 I can put the value of y in equation number 1 if I put value of y in equation number 1 which is 8 minus 13 we got value of y equal to 8 so I put in this equation number 1 so I can get value of x now so I have 13 minus x equal to minus 5 now I can take x to the other side and 5 to the left hand side 13 plus 5 equal to x so I get here x equal to 18 so missing terms are 18 here which is x and y is 13 not 13 sorry it's 8 we found the value of y equal to 8 so missing term here would be 8 and here would be 18 so now we can move to the next one we can use the same approach for the other questions also but let, let's use some other approach it's 9 1 by 2 here so let's suppose that this is x and y we know that in order to find the second term we add common difference to the first term 
and in order to find the third term we can add common difference to the second term and in order to find the fourth term we add common difference to the third term so here to reach from this term to this term we will have to add common difference one two three times one two three times so if we add common difference three times to five we will get we will reach this term 9 1 by 2 so this is one equation here we can find common difference very easily so 5 is equal 5 plus 3d is equal to this is equal to 9 times 2 18 18 plus 1 is 19 divided by 2 here and we can get 3d equal to 19 divided by 2 so d is equal to 19 divided by 2 minus 5 here sorry and we get here 2 as LCM 19 minus 10 here 9 divided by 2 and it's 3 here and we get here D equal to 9 divided by 2 3 here so, so common difference is 3 by 2 so if common difference is 3 by 2 we can find the missing terms easily so X would be equal to 5 plus common difference so 5 plus 3 by 2 and it's equal to 2 is the LCM and 10 plus 3 13 by 2 would be the second term similarly y would be equal to x plus d second y would be equal to y is the third term so y would be second term plus common difference it would be equal to x which is 13 by 2 it's equal to 13 by 2 here and common difference is 3 by 2 so it would be equal to 16 by 2 equal to 8 so missing terms of are 13 by 2 and 8 so this is the solution for part number 3 now moving to part number 4 we will use the same approach as we used in part number 3 there are four missing terms here and there is six here now in order to find the second term here we will add common difference to the first term and we will keep adding the common difference one by one to get the subsequent terms for example here in order to reach from minus 4 to to 6 we will have to add common difference 1 2 3 4 5 times so I can write here minus 4 plus 5d is equal to 6 so now I can find the value of d from here I can move this 4 to the other side 4 to the other side and I get 5d equal to 10 so I get d equal to 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 here so if d is equal to 2 I can find the other terms very easily so here that the term would be minus 4 plus 2 would be minus 2 and minus 2 plus common difference the term would be 0 and 0 plus 2 would be 2 and 2 plus 2 would be 4 so I can find all the terms very easily I just need to add the common difference to the previous term in order to find the next term for example in order to find this term I, I just need to add common difference the value of t to this term and so on we move on so now moving to part number fifth we have 38 here we have three missing terms here and minus 22 now we we can repeat the same process here in order to reach to this term from this term we need to add common difference one two three four times so 38 plus 4d is equal to minus 22 so I say 4d would be equal to I I need I can move the terms to the other side for example minus 22 minus 38 here 1 2 3 4 yeah and here I got 4d equal to 38 and 22 60 it's minus 60 here and d is equal to minus 60 divided by 4 is equal to minus 15 here so common difference is negative 15 so from 38 to get this term I need to add minus 15 to 38 so 38 add minus 15 to it so it would be 38 minus 15 so it's equal to 23 in order to find this term I will add common difference to this term so it would be 23 minus 15 actually so 23 minus 15 is 8 
and in order to find the next term I will have to add minus 15 to this term it would be minus 7 because it is 8 minus 15 equal to minus 7 and in order to get the first term I will have to subtract minus 15 from 38 because it is a, it is present at previous place it's not present it's present here that's why I will have to subtract it because in order to find these terms we add the common difference but in order to find the term previously present we will have to subtract common difference from that for example in order to find that term I will have to subtract common difference from this so I, it will be 38 plus 15 it's equal to 53 so this term would be equal to 53 so that's it we have found all the missing terms here and that's it about problem number three and in the next video I'll be covering chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.2 problem number 4 see you guys